Hello everyone, welcome to our comments and answers TJ channel, I hope you all are doing well. In this new week, we are going to prepare for the comment section, let's find hidden pearls. We are in the week of April 29th to May 5th, in which we will analyze Psalms 34 and 35. Let's begin. The first question is, what did David mean when he asked Jehovah not to let his enemies wink the eye? Before answering the question, let's read the biblical text. Psalm 35, 19 says, Let not my enemies gloat over me without cause, let not those who hate me without reason maliciously wink the eye. Alright, then the answer to the question is, David, by asking that his enemies could not wink the eye, was expressing his desire that they could not celebrate or rejoice over his suffering or defeat, this gesture of winking the eye, could be interpreted as mockery or disdain towards him, so David implored Jehovah not to allow his adversaries to take pleasure in his misfortune. Let's move on to the next question. What spiritual pearls have you found about Jehovah, the ministry, and other topics in this week's Bible reading? Psalm 34, 1 says, When he pretended to be insane before Abimelech, who drove him away, and he left. Alright, then the comment is, By putting praise to Jehovah on our lips at all times, we keep our focus on him, and not on our circumstances, this helps us not to be dominated by fear, anxiety, or despair, but to trust in His provision and care. Let's move on to the next comment. Psalm 34, 4 says, I sought Jehovah, and He answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Alright, then the comment is, by acknowledging that Jehovah delivered him from all his fears, King David shows a deep trust in God's protection and care, this teaches us that we should trust that Jehovah is able to guard us and sustain us in all circumstances. Let's move on to the next comment. Psalm 34, 14 says, Turn away from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. Alright, then the comment is. The first part of the verse urges us to turn away from evil, this means avoiding actions, thoughts, or behaviors that are contrary to what is good and just, it also reminds us that we should not only seek peace, but also pursue it, this implies taking concrete steps to promote peace and maintain it in our lives. Let's move on to the next comment. Psalm 34, 16 says, But the face of Jehovah is against those who do evil, to erase from the earth all memory of them. Alright, then the comment is. This verse highlights that Jehovah is against those who do evil, this teaches us that God is just and does not overlook wicked actions, it reminds us that, Although it may seem that wrongdoers prosper temporarily, in the end they will be confronted with divine justice. This same verse teaches us that God protects and cares for those who do what is right and seek to live according to His will, it may be a reminder that, even though we face opposition or difficulties, Jehovah is on our side and provides us with His protection and help. Let's move on to the next comment. Psalm 34, 18 says, Jehovah is close to the brokenhearted, He saves those who are crushed in spirit. Alright, then the comment is, 
Jehovah understands and feels many distresses, He is not a distant observer, but personally engages in our lives and shares our sufferings, this divine understanding gives us comfort and allows us to trust in His loving care. This text also assures us that Jehovah saves those who are crushed in spirit, even when we feel overwhelmed and hopeless, we can trust that God intervenes to rescue us and gives us strength to move forward. Let's move on to the next comment. Psalm 34, 19 says, Many are the troubles of the righteous, but Jehovah delivers him from them all. Alright, then the comment is, it reminds us that we are not alone in our struggles and that we can place our trust in God to help us overcome any adversity, in the meantime we can continue to await the promise of being delivered from all troubles in the future and thinking about it gives us hope and comfort, it teaches us that, despite difficult circumstances, Jehovah has the power to completely deliver us from them, whether physically, emotionally, or spiritually. Let's move on to the next comment. Psalm 35, 18 says, Then I will give you thanks in the great congregation, I will praise you among the throngs of people. Alright, then the comment is, By expressing gratitude and praise to Jehovah, we are also acknowledging His sovereignty and goodness in our lives, this helps us to maintain trust and hope in Jehovah even in the midst of difficulties and challenges. Well, that was the analysis of the comments and answers, for the hidden pearls of this week, I hope it is very helpful for you my dear brothers and sisters. I send you a big hug, and may Jehovah bless and protect you always.